Hi, I'm Nathaniel Deal, and this is the Ammo Counter Nerf Hyperfire Barrel Mod. Okay, so this mod is for the Nerf Hyperfire. It basically allows you to add the Mark I scope to your Hyperfire uh, by switching out the muzzle for the barrel connector. Uh, this part is completely 3D printed and now available on the Etsy store. We're going to go through a quick tutorial on how to install this, so let's get started. Okay, so this is a pretty simple mod. All you need is a Nerf Hyperfire and a couple of screwdrivers. So I've already removed the screws from this Nerf Hyperfire and I'm going to remove the top half of the shell. Once you have the top half of the shell open, uh, you'll need to remove two screws using a Phillips screwdriver. These are the two screws located at the bottom of the flywheel cage. So once you remove these two screws, uh, go ahead and grab a flathead screwdriver and gently pry the flywheel cage from the assembly. Once you have that out, the stock muzzle and the barrel should just pop right out. So now we need to pull the stock barrel out of the muzzle. Um, as you can see, this one has already been cut. If you do want to use this mod with a Nerf extension, you do have to cut your barrel down to six centimeters. If you want to use the ammo counter, that's totally fine. You don't have to cut the barrel at all. Okay, so grab your barrel connector and insert the barrel into the back end. Okay, once you have the barrel in, you'll need to reposition the barrel inside of the 3D part in order to get the slots to line up. There's a hole on either side of the barrel connector that will push down onto a rod sitting out um, inside of the hyperfire. It's pretty easy to find. Um, it's exactly like the stock barrel. Once you get it seated, go ahead and replace these two screws here. And then when you're done, just replace the top half of the shell. Go ahead and grab your ammo counter, slide it onto the top rail, and then connect the barrel connector to the new adapter. It should fit right on with no problems. There's also a lock system on the back, so when you push it all the way back, you'll need to pull it up a couple of millimeters and then fully twist it on. Okay, so that's it for this installation. If you're interested in buying one of these, uh, they're available on the Etsy shop. Please look below to see the link. And as always, thank you for supporting Ammo Counter and happy nerfing.